Cyprus, the third largest island in the Mediterranean Sea, offers some truly unique experiences. In this video, we take you along to a wide range of historic and simply unusual places. So stay tuned and get inspired for your own trip to the island. What could be better than witnessing sunrises and sunsets by the sea? Cyprus offers perfect locations for such breathtaking experiences. We particularly recommend the white stones east of Limassol. Especially in the morning, the place is almost deserted, with only a few fishermen shaping the scenery. For a mesmerizing sunset, nothing is more impressive than the wreck of the Aldo 3. Beached in 2011, it provides an incredible backdrop for an unforgettable sunset. After a day in Paphos, you simply have to check out this place. Paphos itself features a large archaeological site with beautiful Roman mosaics, four villas and an ancient theatre. Slightly inconspicuous but significant place of Christianity is within walking distance of the excavation site. In the grounds of the church of Panagia Chrysopolitissa, you can find the Paulus Column. The column is believed to be the site where the Apostle Paulus was flocked in front of the Roman governor Sergius Paulus before he converted to Christianity. In Lanaka, you will find a Greek Orthodox church dedicated to Saint Lazarus. Among other things, the church houses a relic that is said to contain the head of St. Lazarus. Lazarus is said to have been brought back from the dead by Jesus himself. Archaeologically important sites are scattered all over Cyprus. The Colossi is just one of them. With the turbulent past involving property exchanges between the Knights of St. John and the Knights Templar, visiting the site becomes truly special. Cyprus, being one of the most fertile islands in the Mediterranean, used the Colossi as a sugar warehouse in the past. Arguably the most extraordinary, albeit somewhat unspectacular, sacred site in Cyprus is the Monastery of St. Nicholas of the Cats. Although the monastery itself may seem inconspicuous, it is a haven for those looking to cuddle some adorable cats. Traces of the Romans and ancient Greek can be found everywhere, but the Ottoman Empire also left its mark on Cyprus. For instance, north of the Lanaka Salt Lake you can find an aqueduct from 1750 that remained in use until 1939. At the Lanaka Salt Lake itself, one of the two largest lakes in Cyprus, you can observe flamingos. These birds inhabit Cyprus from November to April and several vantage points provide excellent opportunities for observation. However, to enjoy the best view, a short hike south of the aqueduct will take you to a couple of peninsulas that offer an unparalleled perspective of these magnificent creatures. The coast 
of Cyprus offer various spectacles. The Natural Bridge and the Lover's Bridge are just two of the spots worth visiting in the southeast of Cyprus. Beaches at Cyclops Cave provide excellent opportunities to cool off without getting caught in large crowds. The most beautiful beaches, however, and fertile corners of the island are best explored in the northwest. The path of Aphrodite stands out as one of our absolute highlights. We have a dedicated video about this hike, so if you want to learn more, feel free to check it out. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to our channel. Until next time.